all right you guys so i'm gonna keep this short simple sweet i have places to go people to meet and my battery is dying i'm gonna be testing out not testing out more like sampling um some fragrances with you guys i've mentioned in passing that i've been testing out a lot of stuff this is thanks to my wallet and this is also thanks to to other creators El rincon perfumado she sent me so many goodies oh my god i've never had someone send me that many goodies and it was a lot of niche offerings so i was super excited because it was a lot of things that i had on my radar on my wish list etc so i'll link her channel down below and this was also thanks to Chrissy. Chrissy sent me a lot of stuff that I've been also wanting to try out. And let's just say that Chrissy saved me a lot of money. So I'm super thankful for both of them. And I'm also thankful for my cheese card. So <laughs> Rincon Perfumado, she sent me the samples in this stuff. From there, I've just been adding a lot more. So thank you, girl, because this has been serving me very well. I'm going to keep it short, like I said. So I'll be testing out just four samples. It's going to be a blend between niche and designer. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to put them right in front of me just so I could be a little bit more more organized also if you guys are not familiar with my channel i'm sort of blunt i try to keep it respectful but also i'm gonna tell you what it is okay if i don't like it i don't like it all right so i'm gonna start off with the banger because this one has been getting a lot of uh not so much love for me it was love at first name and thanks to i bought um a perfume tuberoses um whatever the tuberose one from the lancome more expensive collection their private blend i guess and she added a my way sample and this is one that i was not really interested in trying just because i didn't hear the greatest review and i think only one person really liked it when i had gotten the sample and that was coco pebs i'll link her review down below the second that i smelled this i went ballistic i automatically went on like to find a good deal okay it's pretty new so i'm not gonna find the best deal so i'm waiting for it to go on fragrance net so i can get it because this is good this is not getting enough love and it's okay because i'm gonna be smelling great out here this is a very juicy sweet fresh musky it's like a woody musk sort of perfume i don't think it's anything complex anything different i've never smelled this before but at the same time i've never smelled this before you know what i mean it has a similar dna to a lot of different stuff it has that muskiness like the express love the perfume that i love so much but this smells just amazing it's for someone that doesn't want something <sighs> too unique but someone that just wants to smell good the second that i smelled this one i knew that i was going to be one of the more um crowd pleasing sort of scents a perfume that i know it's going to get complimented when i wear this is your pretty girl it's 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 really 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 nice i'm almost done with my sample just because i've been treasuring it the bergamot in here has that quality you know you know you know when it makes your mouth water it has that quality it's a really um juicy sort of bergamot it smells like it also has a pear in there it has that pear quality where it's really juicy and it has uh not aquatic vibe but it just has that translucent sort of vibe but it doesn't have a pear i believe but it has that translucent airy quality to it so that is my way they also haven't launched a perfume in the longest time my opinion is that i think that it should have been more unique in the sense that they haven't launched a designer perfume in such a long time they should have come out with a banger but in my opinion even though it's not as unique as it should have been for keeping us waiting for so long i think that it's still great and for me personally it is worth the buy just because it's a scent that i know i'm going to gravitate towards a lot of the time coming spring and summer it's just a great scent so that is my way. I think it's just not worth the retail value, but I don't think that anything's worth the retail value. <laughs> All right, so the next one that I have is lipstick on, and I, I'm familiar with the scent. I had tested it out at Sephora. I never liked it. I'm gonna lower this camera. I think it's a little bit too high. There you go. It's better. <laughs> All right, so I feel like now I can have eye contact. <laughs> I got to pick the samples that I wanted from her collection, and I picked this one just because I wanted to see if my nose had developed. And it has in the sense that I enjoy the dry down, but I still hate the opening. To me, this smells like a cheap cherry chapstick, like from the Dollar Tree, like the ones that your mom bought you when you were like five years old. Yeah. I'm still not a fan of the opening. I hate the opening. It's very makeup-y, waxy. It smells like a very realistic um cherry chapstick from the dollar tree not even the family tree the dollar tree <laughs> i just hate it i hate the opening the dry down though it gets a little bit more 
sweet i think the dry down is tolerable and i would actually wear it but i would never buy it the replica line is pretty expensive and my favorite is still by the fireplace i think it's worth it from opening to end if you enjoy those makeupy scents and if you enjoy those waxy scents um i think you would like it because it replicates oh, this is so like not feminine at all you should never show your bra strap. Uh, but yeah, but if you like those makeup-y, waxy scents, I think you would enjoy it because it is what it says. It replicates that actual scent. So that is lipstick on, short and simple like I told you guys. All right, the next one that I have is Plum Oud, and this is from Fragranza. Is it from Fragranza? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so this is, hmm. Atomizers on these are great, by the way. Oh my God, did I just spray that in my eye? Jesus. Hmm my bad i'm not cutting that out you guys can see right okay let me spray it this way hopefully you caught that okay this one is a really nice one this is um you guys are going to be surprised because you guys know that i'm not the biggest fan of the tom ford house those fragrances are just not for me that leathery accord that they all have they're not for me but this is a very interesting unique perfume this to me smells like what it is like plum but it has that leathery Tom Ford quality. Um, I would wear this maybe once a year. I have to be in the mood for it. I think it smells amazing, just not on me. I think if you're more of a rugged sort of woman, you listen to like punk rock and you wear all black and um, you wear black lipstick and you like leather jackets, you're that girl, you only hang out at bars. That's what it smells like to me. I have that personality once a year. That's about it. So, But I think... This smells amazing, so good on a guy. This to me smells like so good. I'm not gonna say who it reminds me of because I don't wanna put my business out there, but this, whenever I smell this, I think of one person and it smells so good on a guy. I think it smells great on a woman too. If she's a little bit more mysterious and she has that more of that masculine, uh, edge to her like more of like a tomboy woman i feel but this smells amazing like and kudos to you if you can uh pull this off if you're a woman because i think that you also smell great i just can't pull it off you know but kudos to you i think it's actually marketed towards women but in my opinion it definitely leans more masculine than feminine but all tom ford fragrances in my opinion that I've smelled lean more masculine than feminine. Besides Lost Cherry, I think that's the only one that leans more feminine than masculine. But of course, fragrance is unisex, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, they're going to lean more feminine or masculine. I don't care what anyone says, okay? So I don't know if they have a 10 ml, but I would buy a 10 ml because I like to smell this. I want to smell it. Like, I just want to smell it. You know, it, I'm not gonna put my business out there, but it smells really good. All right, next one is um, a designer, very popular designer perfume. Why does it feel like it's going up? I'm gonna put you down a little bit more. I feel like it just keeps going up and I'm not even doing anything to it. Okay, so this is Scandal or Scandal. Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. If you can come for me, I'll come for you as well. So let the games begin. <laughs> It's very, very popular by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And follow me on Instagram. You probably unfollowed me after this one. No, I was like so unimpressed. I think it's one of those perfumes that has been loved by many. And um, I'm not saying that overhype. Becky has taught me not to say overhype. It's a bad word in my opinion now. It's in the fragrance community. I don't think... Just because someone likes something a lot doesn't mean that it's overhyped. That person just likes it a lot. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's it. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that they're raving about it or they're overhyping it. They just like it a lot. I'm not going to say that it's overhyped, but I'm also not going to say that I was impressed. I was very underwhelmed when I smelled this. I was like, oh, this is so flat and boring and it's not even as sweet as I expected. I expected something super syrupy. Yes, it's sweet, but I expected rich, like sweet, 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 like tooth rotting sweet. And I didn't get that. And I also tried Scandal by Night and um, I also hated that one. Not hated in the sense I shouldn't say hate, but... I just was unimpressed for both of them and I stated my very open thoughts on that. I said I'm sure a couple of people <laughs> unfollowed me after that one. But it is what it is. It's okay. I'm fine with that. But I was just unimpressed. Um, I did prefer Night over Scandal just because Night had that like a cherry kick. It's a fizzy cherry, almost like a cherry uh, cola. Not that it smells like a soda, but it just had that extra oomph. Whereas this one was just... And the other one was like... 
you know <laughs> that opening got me but just the opening now the dry down smells similar to scandal now another thing that i was unimpressed was the performance of it i kept trying it on my hand about three times i want to say scandal by night not only did it fall flat but i felt that it wasn't like projecting for my hand as i expected it to I didn't give it a full wear test that's why i haven't tried scandal by night that much i still have a good chunk of the sample it's because um i want to give it a full wear test when it gets colder however i was talking to my girls the other day and i was telling them you know my opinion on it and they were like no yeah girl it's like a cooler day whatever sort of perfume yada 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 so i put it on because my house was pretty cold that day and then i went outside and it was pretty windy out there and let me tell you from my hand i kept getting whiffs of scandal by night so i changed my mind now i'm on the lookout once again for scandal by night however my opinion still stays the same in the sense that that i prefer out of all of them my favorite thus far is scandal at buddy this is more of my taste this one is a <sighs> candied juicy jasmine i know that i said i was over candy perfumes but the thing is that this one doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like just girly yes scandal by night smells more womanly than this one i think this one smells younger but i'm just over candy that smells like actual candy you know like just sweetness um this one smells like it still has that like honey floral aspect so i really like this one and this one has a juicy uh, quality to it this one the composition of this one actually reminds me of flower bomb nectar where it has that sweet airy quality to it, it has umph and it has depth to it but it's not syrupy and it's not sticky it's not cloying and oh my god this is so good so fucking good i put it on my hand and it has lasted me like for hours at this point so this is a really good one my favorite is still this one just because this one has that airy quality that i like and this one has that juicy quality that i like in perfumes um but now i am i'm i'm eating the shit that i was talking about and now i am on the lookout for night scandal i still feel the same way it's okay meh i know i'm not gonna reach for it i'm sure that it smells amazing on other people i just don't care for it for myself it is what it is but i do prefer scandal by night just because it has the scandal dna with the cherry fizziness so that's about it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it was short simple and fast please subscribe if you have not already also give this video a thumbs up and with that being said i hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye guys